नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया माय सेल्फ जेवीएन डॉक्टर आस्था सिकरवार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑफ मेडिसिन फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी टुडेज टॉपिक इज होम्योपैथिक प्रोफाइलेक्सिस सबसे पहले तो हमें ये पता होना चाहिए प्रोफाइलेक्सिस का मतलब क्या होता है द वर्ड प्रोफाइलेक्सिस मींस प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिसीजेस any rational system of medicine tries to prevent the disease before its occurrence homeopathy is not an exception hanneman can be considered as one of the pioneers of medicine who is strongly recommended preventive methods the aim of it is to inhibit the disease process itself and to improve the quality of life and well-being of an individual as well as the community homeopathic prophylaxis is often confused for homeopathic vaccination but it is more than just homeopathic vaccination homeopathic vaccination is the use of homeopathic remedies against diseases either earlier in an epidemic or given routinely to prevent common diseases like chickenpox measles mumps and influenza homeopathic prophylaxis involves careful selection of individualized remedies either in epidemic or sporadic contagious diseases to treat symptoms homeopathic prophylaxis was effective since hanneman's time because the basic principle of individualization was used hanneman used belladonna and aconite during two outbreaks of scarlatina epidemic in europe in the early 1800s the selection of a remedy for prophylaxis in a particular epidemic genus epidemicus can be done in three ways first way could be the use of no source in prophylaxis this approach can be useful before the appearance of genus epidemicus or before the epidemic symptom are clear the selection of no source for the epidemic treatment is done by using the same disease genus to prepare the no source that is occurring during a particular epidemic and not through individualization this approach has limitations as it offers prophylaxis only for a particular epidemic and not through overall increased immunity to combat diseases the second approach is to select a remedy or group of remedies that have individual epidemic symptoms seen in patients this is the same approach that hanneman used during scarlatina epidemic in europe where belladonna and aconite were chosen individually for each epidemic of scarlet fever the symptoms of scarlet fever that were commonly seen among all patients with very little variability were then selected to find remedies the common symptoms involved continued fever with delirium coryza inflammation of the pharynx with difficult swallowing tonsillitis hoarseness of voice and rash all these character symptoms of scarlet fever were more distinguished in belladonna than in the remedies like orum triflum alium sepa drosera rustox which to have some of these symptoms but considering the totality of symptoms belladonna was selected as a genus remedy this genus remedy will be more helpful in providing homeopathic prophylaxis than the use of no source the third approach is treating the patient with constitutional remedies this approach works best when the genus epidemicus remedy and the prophylactic no sort remedy fail to provide prophylaxis or to cure this happens when there is an already existing chronic disease and the vital force is in a morbid state that it does not react to the genus remedy or to any prophylaxis thus in such cases a constitutional remedy selected through similimum and totality of symptoms works effectively potency and doses of prophylactic treatment are guided by the same issues that guide the treatment of acute disease 
largely the dynamic nature of the illness the vitality and the sensitivity of the individual patient and most importantly what you happen to have on hand at that time in general the lower potency suffix commonly used potencies are 12c or 30c occasionally 200c and on rare occasions 1m potencies are used in prophylaxis it's ideal to give the remedy in repeated doses of gradually ascending potency in medicinal solution this frequency of repetition has as much to do with the pace of the disease and the pace of the remedy as it does with the duration of the epidemic the genus epidemicus may fail to act both prophylactically and in treatment of active epidemic disease when the reaction of the patient is indicated more by the pre existing chronic disease of the patient than by the virulence of the acute miasmatic organism this session powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidya peet women's university i hope you are satisfied with my digital session if you have any query please mention it in comment box i will resolve it thank you